Day two, uh, La Hinge, La Hinge Golf Club. Good morning, golf people. We just made it to La Hinge. Interesting thing about this club is it's literally right in the middle of town. This place looks pure. <laughs> That putting green looks absolutely minty. We, we got the best day ever. I think this is gonna be pretty world class. All right, I gotta say, of all the golf courses we're playing here in Ireland, this one is maybe the one that I've been looking forward to the most. And this tee shot looks imposing here first. And we are off. The one thing I will say, even though it's freezing cold, is we've got dead flat wind right now. The flags aren't even moving now, of course. In Ireland, that could change at any time, but so far, so good. If I wasn't hitting driver off the first tee, I don't know if I'd have hit the ball. <laughs> I have no feeling in my hand. You hit that pretty so, thin. First hole here is all uphill. Second shot, we're gonna have about 150 in or so. And that green is perched, looking pretty precarious, to be honest. A couple of bunkers there on the right bigger dunes up on the left, so you gotta have some accuracy here. I'm up top somewhere. Beautiful course, so um, very popular stuff um, in, in the southwest, just from its locality. Hosted a few Irish Irish Opens here. Yeah, it's very important in the amateur circuit as well. Every year there's an unbelievably high standard amateur event here. Um, which has had lots of famous winners. And up here you're getting a beautiful view all of a sudden of the Atlantic Ocean, the town of La Hinge, and it's glorious. That's how you start a world-class golf course with the double bogey. <laughs> well, you're dry, if you're drawing the ball, you're obviously aiming at the right bunkers. So our caddy today is Huey. It's Huey's first day, actually, on, on the bags here. So what do you think your first day at work? Uh, getting tougher. Yeah. The second hole is a downhill par five. Again, got off the tee really well. Gonna have, have some better second and third shots here. If we're gonna score well today, though. We've got 260, green, straight ahead, all trouble on the right. If you're laying up, go left. If you're not, if you're going to put a tree wood, still go left. I learned on this shot just how treacherous La Hinch can be because my shot was pretty good. It actually hit the green, but I hit the wrong part of the green and it rolled off into the bunker. <laughs> you miss your target by a degree or two and you pay the price. I'm in this pretty massive bunker all of a sudden after being in perfect shape. That's golf, right? He's his, he's his. Ryan is good. Gotta hit him, bro. Yes. Oh. Oh. Huh? Yeah, nice. And that's First bird in Ireland. You're gonna have a lot of blind shots in a place like this. You're gonna have a lot of lies you're not used to. And you could go one of two ways. You could go straight into your emotions and hate everything about the way you played and fret over every bad shot. Or you can just look around you, see where you're at and enjoy the walk. Third hole here, first blind tee shot. Looks imposing. I mean, it's September, the weather is absolutely gorgeous. There's hardly even a breeze. Woo! That's the first good shot I've hit in Ireland. I've taken, I don't know, 90? <laughs> That's the first good one. How many years have you been here? 61. 61, so you've, got, you've seen a lot of golf, good oh, and bad. I'm sure you've had a million of them, but favorite moments on the golf course, my friend? Favorite moments? Well, I caddied for um, Gary Player about three months ago. Fantastic. And this guy is not using irons anymore. He uses PXG rescues. Uh -huh. And he put them into your eye. Really? His bunker shots were the moments for me on the second. He 
they have six inches from the hole and the 16 to nearly hold it. Wow. Best shot. shot. Uh, Andrew McGee, the tour pro, you're yeah. on the 14th. He was in the heavy stuff I'll show you when we get there. Down in reeds that were up to his knees and he left the two feet. Wow. Probably the best shot I've ever seen here. Yeah. To me, all the best shots are from like tough angles, tough positions. That's really what makes golf to me. There are so many special holes on this course. The first one for me being the fourth hole, which the locals affectionately refer to as the Klondike. It's an original old Tom Morris par five where the second shot is over a massive dune in the middle of the fairway. This is something you'd never see on a modern golf course. And there's actually an aiming stone which lets you know which direction to hit your shot. After a perfect drive and a little bit of a quirky lie, which you will get in Ireland all the time, I did this. But then I did this, and this, and then this. Guy, this guy knows his reeds, I'd say. He even said it's a foot, but because it's aerated, it was only gonna break six inches. That is perfection, precision. That's 61 years of experience. The fifth hole is probably the one I was most looking forward to in all of Ireland when I was doing research for this trip. It's called the Dell, and similarly, there's this massive dune that shields the green from your view back at the tee box. And by the way, that tee box is literally next to a road in the town. Like I said, this place is full of quirks. And I don't think you'd ever guess it, judging by what's behind me, but what's in front of me is a massive dune. This is a blind, shot over this dune you've got an aiming stone the flag actually is visible today because it's on the right but often it's not i wanted to birdie this hole hell even have an ace my first ace so very badly i think nerves got the best of me as they quite often can and i thin one towards the right side of the green but the golf gods came through i got a ridiculously good kick off the dune and the ball started tracking towards the hole. Of course, that big dude in front of me stood in the way of seeing where the ball actually finished, but I hoped it was close. And not to be outdone, Patrick also hit an incredible shot into the fifth green. The cool thing about a hole like this is the anticipation. You have no idea what the ball did once it actually hit up in the green. You'll only find out once you get around the hill. Guys, historic moment here in Ireland. I am, I am closest to the pin. Oh yeah, that's a birdie. I thought I pulled it. <laughs> I'm pretty positive about that. Yeah, you should be. Nice bird. Thank you. My putt just got a mile longer. Right on top. Yes. Right on top. Of all the holes in Ireland that I really wanted to play, this was number one. And to make a birdie here, super special. We've done it justice. We've done it justice. justice. <laughs> What's your favorite hole? The 18th. <laughs> How about on the front nine? Uh, Every one of them. They're yeah. all good holes. Uh, there isn't a bad hole. No. Yeah, no. Anywhere in this course, there isn't a bad hole. Yes. Go. Pretty well played, Pat. Great shot, actually. We're heading to seven here. Another blind shot. Oceanside. What a tee box. Every walk up one of these hills is like, what are you going to get yourself into next, right? Usually something spectacular. Yeah. You can bank on that pretty much. That's good contact. Steady, steady. Oh, no. A fate worse than death. I mean, one degree is very punishing on this course. If you're one degree off your line, can come back to bite you pretty hard. It's got everything you want. Dunes, short holes, long holes, blind shots. It's golfer's paradise out here. Absolutely fantastic. The way you described it to me earlier is it's like it was just carved into the land. It was a part of the land itself. Yeah, absolutely. It's like the guys just came out and found holes out here and just came out and made it a fun place to come and play golf. Fun? 
Spectacular. Spectacular. In Lahinch fashion, walk up a hill, something spectacular happens. Beautiful par three here. I don't think it gets much better, honestly. That was probably the up and down I'm most proud of, but come to think of it, it might be my first up and down. <laughs> You're having salad for lunch there, Gabe. Oh, oh Lord. Can you even see it? <laughs> Wouldn't be fun if, if it was easy, eh? I had a salad, I guess you're having a fried egg. Yeah, yeah, that's what I get for slagging you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's karma. Didn't ever get it out. Oh! Oh no! Oh no no! Oh yeah! I haven't seen a bad hole yet, honestly. Everything has something interesting to it. Thirteenth hole here, grandiose. Green out there, straight ahead of you. Big massive dunes. Over here, you've got the cliffs. The Atlantic Ocean, Riverside. Oh yes, almost. The real star of the show that day though, was of course Good Huey. Spot. The guy did not give us one bad read all day. That was all my guy. I was gonna hit that probably five yards further and have a 20 footer. <laughs> and we sunk plenty of par and on. birdie putts out. Yeah! Did end strong here at La Hinch. Glorious! <laughs> I had about 40 feet for birdie and I did this. That was 78 yes! and my best score on our Ireland trip. Oh and of course Patrick was his normal self. He shot a cool yes. 76. Classic. Who are better golfers, us or no laying up? You want me to be honest? <laughs> yes. No laying up. Who is more fun though? Are you more fun? All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. That, that was, that's probably the, the best links course I think I've played. What was nice about it too is I, I'm pretty sure I hit every single club in my bag at one point. To varying degrees, mind you. I didn't hit that three wood <laughs> well once, but I'm pretty sure I hit every single club. And to me, that's like the mark of a truly great course. You got to use every club. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you'll keep coming back for the following episodes from our Ireland trip. Check out that link down below about our trip in 2023, and I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.